Welcome to another episode of Thrive's FinTech Friday. Today I want to spend a couple minutes and talk about the SEC's Rule 206-4-7, also known as the Compliance Rule. As we continue to see the SEC's Office of Compliance and Inspector Exams, also known as OC, issuing new risk alerts, I wanted to share with you some of the most common exam deficiencies that have arisen from this rule according to OC. So I want to break down the rule into three specific areas. First one being policy and procedures. So the rule specifies that your firm needs to implement policy and procedures that are reasonably designed to prevent, detect, and correct violations of the Advisor Act. So ensure that your testing covers areas that are applicable to your firm, things like the use of third-party service providers, trading practices around best execution or restricted securities, the proper calculation of fees or the allocation of expenses, uh, think about uh, safeguards around client privacy, specifically around Reg SP and Reg SID, the physical security of client information, data loss prevention, penetration testing, employee training, and incident response uh, should be all things to be thinking about when you're building out your rules and policies. Second thing on Rule 206 is around conducting that review. It specifies that you need to conduct a review no less frequently than annually on the adequacy of the policies and procedures for your firm. Now, nearly every SEC exam requests evidence of this annual review. And what OC has found is that most firms claim that they're performing this annual review, but don't have the evidence for such review. So some, some advice here would be create a compliance calendar uh, to help you stay organized. And there's several online tools and SaaS providers to help with this service. Uh, I'd recommend having quarterly reviews, and then an increased cadence around any high risk items to the firm. And then summarize and document your test procedures and detail any of those key risks. And the third area of Rule 206.4 specifically calls out that the firm must appoint a chief compliance officer to administrate this compliance program. Now in smaller firms, it's common for chief compliance officers to wear multiple hats as these firms don't have endless resources to devote to compliance. Um, but it is possible to maintain a compliance program that meets the compliance rule requirements and protects your firm. One of the findings of the SEC uh, during recent exams was that CCOs don't have sufficient authority. The SEC wants to see the CCO having a seat at the table. So make sure that your CCO is sharing their quarterly and annual reviews with senior management and make sure that they're part of their executive meetings to provide proactive insight on the impacts surrounding compliance. I hope you found this information helpful. If your firm needs any assistance on any of these items, please don't hesitate to reach out to our dedicated FinTech team here at Thrive. Thanks so much for watching.